Yeah, I'm Evan Ferry, I'm 17 and I'm from Dade City, Florida. Uh, well, my dad raced pro uh, for like 18 years, 17 years. Like, yeah, nobody really cares about that. But um, so uh, I just always watched him. I always went to the races. And uh, when I was like probably like two and a half, three, uh, I decided, you know, I want to ride a dirt bike. You know, I'm super little and like, I just see everybody riding dirt bikes. I'm like, I want to do it too. So uh, I started riding dirt bikes when I was probably like two and a half, three years old. And I didn't really take it super serious. Like it was just more of like a, if I wanted to go ride, my dad would take me go riding. My dad, my dad was never like, oh, like you know, I'll, I want you to race like this and that. Like, kind of was all up to me really. And uh, then like a couple of years ago, I just decided to actually really take it super serious. Ooh, I actually it's pretty funny. I actually remember this one. Uh, I have a home track, uh, Dade City MX, which is like right like through the woods from my house. And uh, you know, it was my first race there. I think I was on PWs. And uh, I'm pretty sure I got it on like a CD that I that, that I would go and watch it, you know, back over and over again. But um, yeah, I, I don't remember a lot. Um, I think I actually ended up winning my first race, though. That I, that's the only thing I really remember from my first race. Um, I had it like I think it was called a KDX 50 Cowie. It was a, I, I think they called them a KDX 50. Um, growing up, um, I had a really awesome race at uh, I think it was Mill Creek when I was on like 65s, that was kind of my first ever, like, I wouldn't call it like a championship. I think it was just a, um, I think it was a state championship or something like that. But, you know, it was like my first championship there. And then, um, you know, uh, Monster Cup, that was probably like the coolest race I think I've ever done. And, um, and then even, uh, you know, like a couple months ago, Loretta's, um, Loretta's was probably one of the most memorable ones. Well, for the select few that like actually know, uh, I used to I used to take dance lessons when I was like six or seven. You know, Tasha wanted me to bring this up, but uh, I did dance lessons, and then uh, I just watched so many YouTube videos of people dancing, and uh, you know, so a uh, pretty big dancer, you know, like. But I got to be feeling it though if I really want to do it, you know. So I, uh, if I'm feeling it, then I'll you know you might see a couple moves out there. Uh, more in the, like the whole uh, the whole rap thing, kind of what everybody's kind of listening to right now with rap and uh, but a uh, big Parker McCollum fan, you know, I uh, ha have a pretty cool relationship with him and uh, you know uh, he sponsored me obviously for Loretta's and that was super cool and uh, you know talked to him a couple times and he's super cool for fun. Mm. Um, probably watch motocross. You know, they're uh, honestly just mo everything around motocross, you know, been kind of golfing a little bit, you know, going to top golf, not, not anything serious, but golfing's pretty fun. And then, uh, you know, I used to play video games, kind of got away from that. that kind of was too much of a distraction, but uh, kind of for fun, um, you know, I flip on the trampoline, you know, uh, doing flips like tumbling in the, on the ground and all that. Like, and a lot of people, ah. I used to post a bunch of stuff on my Instagram, but a lot of people don't know that either. Like I was super into like flips and doing flips on the trampoline and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so I joined with OnTrack, I'm pretty sure three years ago. I think it was around three years ago. Uh, you know, I decided to take the whole motocross thing like super serious. And uh, you know, I got, I'm pretty sure in contact with Tasha and uh, the whole OnTrack uh, school, you know, family and we got we got together and uh, I've been doing it ever since and uh, it's really helped my racing you know I get to ride during the day and I get to do everything that I need to do to be better on the bike but also everything you know to be better you know in school and uh, you know just getting smarter every day you know the 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 biggest advice I feel like my dad's given me is you know the whole technique side of motocross to have him shortcut some stuff for me and um, just you know, always having like good advice. Like I'm like, hey dad, like wh where, where do you think I should go on this start? You know, and like he like tells me where I need to go, you know, line choices, like really kind of everything, everything to do with the whole motocross thing. Um, I hope to see myself maybe in the 450 premier class, um, you know, racing motocross, you know, that that's like always been my dream ever since I, I was like three years old. So uh, hopefully, hopefully be up, maybe, maybe have a couple championships, prof like professional championships by then and um, you know, prob probably being, being like racing and being one of those guys in the 450 class.